Hello everybody, welcome to your Tuesday morning episode of Short Bangers. You may not listen on Tuesday morning, but that's when it goes out. I'm Matty. <laughs> that was a long way to get to your name. I'm, I'm Hiya. And it, 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 it's still Thursday night, but it might be Tuesday morning. Maybe Wednesday when you're listening. Who fucking knows? Does this effectively make us time travellers, Colin? Aye. I think it does. I think it does. Well, I wonder what would happen. Nah, it wouldn't really matter. I was just thinking, we're sitting talking about stuff and then something, like this is Thursday, this isn't about to Tuesday, folk might not listen to Wednesday or Thursday, or, or at all, I suppose. But they they do that and something like we talk about and there's a major thing happens over the weekend. Yeah. And then it makes us look like, we're not going to go, you're not going to go and stop the schedule and this going no. up, so. So, yeah, for example, we we spent a good chunk of the last episode about talking about drying your cock, mm-hmm. not your cock specifically. Oh, well, that's in one one point. Well, was. you for you 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 were talking about drying your cock. I talked about drying mine. But there's at no point we talk about drying each other's. <laughs> <laughs> no, no idea. No idea. No, uh, no. <laughs> not after last time. Um, and if uh, so, if there was like a horrific. Incident where something went badly wrong with somebody trying their cock, uh-huh. we would seem like we might get cancelled if we didn't go back and change it. But I'm not definitely not going to, it's just it's accidental. Like, like, what was the boy's name? Is it Bobbit? John Bobbit or something? Uh, John Wayne Bobbit. John uh, Wayne. But the, John Wayne. Uh, I was John Wayne Bobbit. His, his missus cut his off and threw it out the car window, didn't she? He ended up being a porn star. Should he made a porn film that was called like Frankencock or something like that? Aye. Never seen it, but I remember being mildly Doesn't amused at the, at the story. Um, what was his name, John? You sure it was John Wayne? I'm just going to Google that, because that, uh, that doesn't sound right. John Wayne's the other actor. I, I, should have, I think it was John Wayne Bobbitt, but... Aye, it was. Was it? Uncut. John Wayne Bobbitt Uncut. Uh, which is... Yeah. Aye. I was sure there was a Frankenstein-related one as well. I just came up with Uncut. I don't know what they make the others. Aye. Um, yeah, so there was one time we nearly did it on, and I had to edit out. What was it like a long bangers? Do you remember? Oh, it was, was a train accident. Aye, or the, 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 the train derailed up north. It was just like sort of outside Aberdeen or something like that. And yeah. I think the joke that I had made that night, so we didn't know what happened. Uh, there's a joke about did you hear about the uh, train? Spotter who died doing something that he loved. He was uh, chuffed to bits. Like, like he fell for actually chuffed to bits, right? And we made the, whatever, whatever that joke was, right? We'd made that one. And then we finished recording and saw the news that there'd been this fucking tragedy with the train. So that was, that was actually forgot about that. That was one of the few times uh, I had to go back and actually edit the podcast and go, right, I, can't I was not on it because then. No, you just, weren't. Just absolve myself for any, mm. any, any offence to anybody but that's going to I, try and cancel but anybody. Sure, it, it, it was completely innocent, you know, like... It, I, and I never went out, did I? No. Did you, that's no, where no. you learned to edit. And that was, I, that's came in handy since for a couple yeah. of occasions. Two it for was, me and one for you, I think. Yeah. Um, so, yep. Yeah, which we'll not go into. Um, <laughs> Doug's got mental. So next, next door, just... Uh, Pulled up a van. If you if you can hear my dog going mental in the background, that's that's uh, what it is. Next, we pulled up a van. And that's obviously triggered them. Right, um, 150k on Hamlin Hill. Misspelt youth. If the grammar police were a real thing, who would be the chief constable? And happily spelt chief wrong. Right, which I presume is deliberate as well. What would the grammar police? Yeah, the grammar police, if they were a real thing, who would be the chief constable? Brilliantly, there's no space between would and be either, so who would be, in one word, the chief constable, which is spelled wrong? Yes. Oh. I, I, no, I think just in general, like uh, it, it could be anybody from, I suppose, public life, isn't it? The answer wouldn't work if it was like your pal Terry. Do you know, no. oh, I'm a pal Terry, he's a fucking stickler oh, for he's it. He's a nightmare. Aye. Yeah. But, well, I don't know, because... Like, people didn't really make a big thing about grammar, did they? Well, <laughs> right, they do. 
Wait a bit. Well, Twitter. You know, do you know, because by the way, like, it's, le- I, it's less now than it used to be. I was going to say because I would feel like if I if, if I felt like I certainly would do it for the long bangers or the short bangers accounts, but if I had I, I, even in the met, I'd not post and I didn't really go on the message boards anymore either. But in the past, I've probably corrected folk on there in the old days when I first started using it in two thousand and fucking two or whenever Aye. it was, right? Two thousand three. When I first started using the message boards, you would correct folk for there and there and there or where and where um, and all of that. Aye. But now folk don't give a fuck. And if you do it, you actually get a harder time for being right Aye. in this day and age <laughs> because they didn't teach them spelling and that at school anymore. They didn't give a fuck as long as it's in the right context. Is that Which, for, the, for the better or for the worst, call? So I, I think there's an argument to say that's for the better, and so long as you can what they mean. But why but, should you have to work out what they mean? But I, I suppose the idea is that you don't have to work out what they mean. Like it, it would be obvious. Why do you bother with any words then? Why do you bother with anything? As long as it's in like the right. Oh, aye. As long as you can understand it, it it's like that. Mind that test you would get sometimes where they would put fucking uh, the first and last letter of the word correct. Right, you could still read the whole paragraph. Aye. Why would you bother then? Why you not just do everything with the first and last letter? Well, why would why you bother? bother with it? Like, well, why does, bother but, then, but, then, but then if you could automatically correct it without with no effort on your part, by the way, because that happens subconsciously. Mm-hmm. You read it and you you get it. Aye. So it doesn't matter if something fucking spelled wrong. You were like, all right, I came it. Like when I read 150k in Hamlin Hill's tweet there, right? So. Misspelled youth, right? Youth Y double O F, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then there would be, and then the chief constable, right? A lot of mistakes in there. I'll get benefit of so. that, right? I'm okay, so. there. And I, I, I took me no effort to work out what he meant there to the yeah. point I was even able to explain the question to you, right? So I don't know, yeah. never just read it, I understood it and was able to relay the information, yeah. The difference that it make. well, does it? I suppose in that instance it doesn't make a difference, but it could, couldn't it? If you don't, if somebody doesn't know how to spell words correctly, then the using the wrong word, mm-hmm. which they think is the right word, could change the context of the sentence. Yeah, but that's but why. How, how? Yeah, and and you're right. And there would be some instances where that could be fucking fatal, yeah. Yeah. right? Um. I literally, you know, if it was on a sign with like a warning, and I actually saw warning. something the other day, and I'm trying to go, oh, is it? Was it, was it like, cro- a comma or a full stop? Cro- cro- crocodiles, crocodiles do not swim in the water, or something like that. And aye. Oh, aye. Yeah. and you are oh, good. Cro- no, cro- so yeah, that, that, that's a good example of where it could go wrong, right? Um, but then anybody with fucking half a brain would be going, "What the fuck would we tell me? What does this swim in the water?" Yeah. Right. Well, that's it's why stop at crocodiles? Like, because you could uh, other sharks you're in there. Crocodiles then. eating you. Well, well I, would, aye, I would go. They've excluded crocodiles, but there could be sharks. Could be fucking jellyfish, mm-hmm. piranhas. I'm not going in. Yeah. Still yeah. be safe, right? Uh, that's my, my favourite. Two favourite signs that I've seen. One that said, "Please do not throw stones at this sign." <laughs> right, but you just thought. <laughs> Brilliant. They, That's uh, like a dirty look over there, wasn't it? Correct. Uh, and then the other one was, uh, it, it was, I don't know if it was genuine, but it was like a sort of protest thing. It says, what do we want? Time travel. When do we want it? It doesn't matter. That's <laughs> 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 good. Yeah, I like that. Like that. Um, I'm all for <laughs> funnies. There was one other day that was like, uh, things I hate. It was like graffiti. Things I hate. One... Uh, lists to oh, I can't remember what the second one was but anyway they ended up like in, the last one was like F inconsistency <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, I, can't, I wish I could remember all of them because it was like pretty clever for a wee bit of graffiti right? and somebody put a bit of thought into it and I thought well played all it would have made it better is if they'd uh, encased it in a graffiti bobby right. um, anyway right Charlie McGrew thinks you made that let's get another question on Netflix if Hibs bring back Peri Peri Chips, with ne- will Netflix release a four-part documentary about one man's uh, Twitter crusade, and that one man being Fats Prickus, to bring them back? And would you watch it? 
I would definitely watch it. Um, I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll do it. I, well, I think he maybe needs to step the campaign up. So, so did they used to have Perry Perry chips at Easter Road? Yeah, people, I, think it, I, I think So he's wanting them reinstated rather than... I think it's something that's been and gone. You didn't, the West Upright didn't even get chips, right? And I, I kind of no. had singling myself out for freaking it. Oh, prawn sandwich. I, I, fine. Same here. I'm I would same have chips if they had them. I would have chips. I go in every week and my daughter will say, daughter, you want any? And she'll go, see if the chips are on. Every week. And she's like, we'll not have them. But and, and you, but they have the board up saying they've got them. Aye. And sometimes they'll send you, like, the last few weeks we went in, and they never even had, they had stuff there, they had stuff standing there, and I thought, oh, magic, Nick, who's a man? They're all standing there, because the tills are not on. Brilliant. You can go downstairs, though. Like, all right, all right brilliant. But, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, well, he says, that, no, I'll stay here, and you run down, I'll give you the money, you run, you or my card, you can go tap it yourself, you run downstairs, there, come back up. It's not me that's fucked up the till. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you fucking do it. But, <laughs> what a... What do you think this documentary would be? Like, he's claiming four parts right away. I'm, I'm more than four parts. Like Ten six minutes, at least. Nah. <laughs> just with all his tweets. Like, just like list of all his tweets. Net- Netflix, you know, you've watched stuff on Netflix. Uh, you can't previously, like, previously. Previously, right? Next and, thing. And they spend an hour on something that literally could be... Mm. Aye. He says, you can't do that, and guess what? You fucking could do it. Right? That's the, there's that, like an episode on that. But they set it all up and they fucking repeat loads of folks saying, oh, no, I couldn't do it. He said he couldn't do it. I definitely looked into it and they said they couldn't do it. And I guess then he went, oh, I did it. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Next week we go, did he really do it? <laughs> um, I, and Netflix will generally make a fucking documentary about anything. So I would say if it happened and we flagged it to them, that documentary would, would be made. What We'd make a commission to make it. So what would, what would be part one? Just introducing that they'd probably show you them selling Perry Perry chips previously and how popular they were. Aye, definitely the background. You'd maybe need to do a wee bit about the origin of Perry Perry chips and a wee bit about the origin, like Alex's backstory would need to come into it. Like you need to do a wee feature on that. That's two episodes. How many, right how off many the bed. as well? Yeah. Why Why were they his favourites? Like, Aye. why did they not just go for the normal chip? Right. <laughs> um... Tom Wallace asked uh, who would play Alex in it. So you, you, you need to get somebody in to play him. Alex I suggested um, Jack Black. Is that his name? That's who. Uh, that's immediately who. But he must look like a me. That's, ex- that's exactly. I was just going to Google who it is, but you said the name. That's who right. I was visualising. Well, the, the only person I think that could top that is, uh, is Alex would be Matt Berry. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. I yeah. think that would be fucking hilarious. So imagine him. And then the voice with, with, well. the, with the voices yeah. and that super um, so either of those two in fact maybe both of them because they could make it they could mix it up halfway through Aye, you know, young Alex it, and old Alex you can have you know, for when he shape. when he was enjoying the Perry Perry chips to when yeah. they finally reinstated them we'd need to uh, sort of finish that up first eh, by getting them reinstated I guess Aye. well we could get we could join in that campaign then we could get commission to make the documentary we could make it star in it Break the theme tune for it, etc. Mm-hmm. Again, like uh, what's his face and little Brim. Uh, aye, I'd be all for that. What um, what would you crusade to bring back? What thing that's no longer here? Would you like to see a return of? Uh, are, you, are you thinking food or something, or just anything? What, whatever, whatever, bag enough. Like, bag off, bag, bag, bag off. off my pal. <laughs> right. um, I, can't, I can't even think. I was thinking there, yeah, I'm watching, I've got the football on in the background, and I, what I thought it was, Mind Soccer AM is good. Aye. I used to enjoy that on a Saturday morning. But it's still on. That's funny thing. I was going to bring it back. It's still, still actually fucking on. But it's Aye. just been See, shite for years. Yeah, bring back good soccer AM. Aye. Yeah, but it's not, it's not really... There must be something. There must be something like food wise. I'm thinking. See, I I would go for shooting stars. I would bring that mm. back. Although they have, they have resurrected I think it. Would be as, it would be as good with it. You, you've got that kind of memory, of it, and it was kind of it was brilliant. Friday night it was a Friday night. It used to be on, eh? Ah, uh, aye, Friday night. I think yeah. Nah, because I used to be in. I was playing on the Saturday, so I used to stay in. I used to watch that, and then have I got news for you? That was my Saturday. That was my Friday night. Bro. 
Um, is that still on? Aye. Uh, well, I, I, I'm sure it is. I did watch it. I got bored of it. They, they need to change the panelists years ago. Ian Hislop's all right. Uh, like, his magazine's good in that, but Paul Merton, like, he's not funny anymore, eh? I think uh, I've not seen, it, seen it for years and years and years, so... Nah. Um, all right, Mike Slofer. Uh, topic is Bucky. I've never tasted the infamous tonic wine brewed by monks, but was wondering if the bangers have had a swally, and how many bottles would it take to turn you into a Ouija Raj? I have tried it. I've not had much yet. Like I've not had it. I've even had a full glass. I just had like a mouthful. Um, wasn't it that? Wasn't it? Wasn't it that? Wasn't it that bad? But it wasn't that good either. You know what I mean? It was. We had it. Uh, I just tasted it. No, no more than you. Like that. Just like a yeah. sip of. It. Do you mind? Uh, right. Do you remember? Um, one of the first barbecues of yours that became when Josh was drinking. In fact, I think it might be the one. It was just me and Josh in the end. When he wasn't meant to be drinking. Aye. Aye. So a typical, right? Not quite of drinking age, but no kicking ass off it. He'd taken, I think, four beers. And I'd say to him, like, that needs to last you, right? Because we're, ah. we're, we're here for a few hours. And I think those four beers might be lasting him about fucking 20 minutes. And then yeah. folk kept giving him, he says folk kept giving him drinks, in inverted commas. Yeah. Kept handling him, right? Anyway, he ended up fucking burst and uh, got him on the bus to the train station, got on the train. When on the train, we bumped into uh, a couple of like, friends of friends uh, mm. that, that stay over here. One of them is, I don't care if he's actually fucking hard or if he's just a, like somebody who's always on the verge of having a fight with somebody. Like he's just yeah. like that, where you're uncomfortable around them. Like right? they think it's fucking hilarious. But like, yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example. We were, we were waiting at the taxi rank and he was like fucking, he got like this close to the person in front of him, like staring at the back of the head, going, turn around your gun, turn around your gun, like this. Like, uh, they go, what the fuck are you doing that for? Uh, that's annoying. Eh? Anyway, right. He's in the boy, did turn around and he's like, right, pal. And the boy's like, no sure if this is like a, is this a safe Aye. situation or I'm about to have a fight? Ken, and you're like, you're trying to then de escalate something before it starts. Anyway, he had back fast and he's like, have some, have some, have some. And Josh, Josh got already fucking hammered. Josh's like, all right, all right. And I'm like, just a wee bit, Josh, have a wee bit to fucking shut him Shut's up and then. Aye. So, he then offered me some, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not wanting it. Fuck <laughs> Josh just said he's been fun at him. I'm fucking Aye, fuck it. It's not. <laughs> so, uh, no, nah, it's no, it's not something that's ever, I didn't like the taste particularly. It's not something I've ever taken. I always, you associate it more with BGs and that, and I don't care if it's you a, do. A, a class yeah. thing, because I drink it here, can okay, folk have it, although it's more like dragon soup and that now that the young kids Aye, are all the cool, Not the cool, not the cool kids are drinking it. Aye. I think you need to have a fair bit to turn full Ouija, but it's quite potent stuff, isn't it? So, oh, that's what I was going to talk to you about at the end of the last oh. one. We were talking about uh, songs and that. Did you see the mm. uh, the band The View? Aye, having a fight on stage. Aye. That was uh, a novel approach. Yeah, the boy was just like, fuck it. I think if he was a mid song or if they just finished one and just went, Aye. he punched the bassist and then kicked him in the head. That's was that video? Oh, I never saw. I just saw one punch getting thrown. That's the video there's, I saw. There's like a, there's one angle where it looks like he's getting held back and he sort of swings the punch, round the pick one of these hurt me back. That's the back what I saw. Ones. There's a video for the other side, but before that happens, he punches the boy, grabs him, kicks him in the head, and then swings another punch at him. Aye. And, and then that's the bit after. I see. Was it the singer that was doing it? Mm-hmm. Aye, Aye. To the, the bass player. Aye. 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 A weird thing to do there. You think, uh, like, wouldn't... even if you were pissed off, okay, I mean, you were like, folk had paid to see you and everything, you're like, that was your comeback gig. Just, just, I'll put up with this and then I'll get off and fucking that'll be that. Aye. But what, um, you don't know what kind of neck they've been in stage yet, but they they broke up before, eh? I think so, like, I think this was aye. a reunion one. So obviously they're back for cash and aye. can't you actually fucking stick each other, eh? <laughs> aye. Not, the... They must have the rehearsals and everything. That's like the ma- the mad thing about it is they must have came to get to that point. Maybe like say the the, the camera's yeah. going on with them, but uh, I think they were meant to be playing at Transmit this year. I don't know, I imagine that'll be happening now. Yeah. Bit so much money they need it. Eh? Aye, uh, that's true. Right, uh, Lex Lofer, turncoat is the question. Is the topic? 
how much money would it take for you to tell everyone you now support Hearts and attend the piggery every week for a year? You can't lie on to anyone for the whole season, but can after you collect the cash. The guy done a book about this. Aye. Was it somebody Smith? Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Smith, Smith, a Scotsman yeah. or Evening News. Scotsman, I think. I, he, I, wrote, I read it. Aye, uh, for that. Sipping for the Devil's Cup. Something like that. Was it called? But he actually, aye, but it was like he was trying to play to both sides, wasn't he? Because he, he's a Hibs fan and he's back being a Hibs fan. Something but, Bovril for the Devil's Cup. Raymond's answered it. Uh, there you go. I kept something like that. Uh, oh, right. As if somebody said that, because if a memory, he was almost starting to have sympathy for them. Aye. He warmed to them. Which kind of put me off the book. But aye. then I guess a Hearts fan reading it might be gone. Aye, if I can see. Aye. Knew it. Knew it. Um, how much money, though? See, that's the thing, eh? So it's a year. And then you can just change back after that. Aye, and, and you can say to everybody, by the way, I only did that because I was getting paid for it. After, you couldn't kind of like on, while well, you were doing it, so you would have to be like, I kind of was, oh. wanted Hibs to win last one, but I fuck, I'm hearts now for this season. <laughs> and everybody would go, why? Imagine, sitting on, imagine sitting on Long Bios on a Sunday morning, eh? Like, okay. Hello, fucking Long Bios, fucking Hibs won, fucking, <laughs> that's the, I can ruin my weekend. <laughs> Okay, hell, would you have to start? Would it just be a Hearts podcast? Would you no. just start? You would just start talking about the Hearts game? I'm right moaning about the Derby where Hibs turned them over. Okay. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. bastards fucking hate them. Putting the cardigan yeah. on especially for it. I know. That's <laughs> mental, eh? Right, I, so, you'd be wanting to, you'd be wanting to have enough to, so the, the, the answer is either, either loads or zero, eh? Because you've no got idea or make me enough to just Aye, jack exactly. and work and buy all my houses that I want to buy, the one, pay this mortgage off, buy the one in Spain, buy the one in fucking America or whatever I'm going to buy and, and podcast for a living, become a, become a football Aye. podcaster. So it'd have to be like hundreds of millions or I'm just not doing it. I think it would have to be a proper Euro millions. Yeah. Jackpot. Yeah. I in practice, would you know that for much less than that? Probably. Like, I'm just saying, just I'm just keeping I came up with audiences, eh? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good point. In reality. In, in reality. reality I, I, five million or something. Five I would definitely would do it for five million. Fucking that's that's his I think a like, million. Anyway, I think it? I would do, I think I would do it for a million. I think I think a million's not enough. I think it, it would, it would make you comfy. You'd have to carry on working in that and you'd have to face into that, like, you know, that they had that season where everybody went, you're back, you're hipster again, eh? But see, when they, you think, like, the amount of shit you put up with for your job, mm-hmm. right? We don't know your job, right? If you like your job, right? But, but folk at work in general, right? You have a, like, generally accepted that your 95 is a bit of a fucking slog, right? There are things mm-hmm. you think, I wish I was in my fucking cot today. If you had enough, like, you did that, but you did that, didn't do that for like a million quid. It didn't take a million quid to get out of your bed. And go to your work in the morning. So if you went like for a year, only a year, a couple hundred grand, would you do? I, I would be like, well, if I cheated like did a job I didn't like, a couple hundred mm. grand for a year. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, mm. I, I would probably put up with that. I didn't I'm thinking could... about enough to do retire on, eh? Like you're, uh, you're just thinking enough to not work for a couple of years. Mm. Sorry, mm. aye, but morally. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with you the the hundred plus million. I would take the ball for that. I would grudge it for the rest of it. But if it was Euro millions levels, then fucking it's I, an easier decision, isn't it? I, if somebody says hundred million, you're gone. Because you everybody would there. There's never there's nobody really like this. Like fucking, would have turned that down. Really, like so. maybe. I wouldn't have thought so. Anyway, no, we would turn it down. Right, that's where we'll land on. Anyway, right, <laughs> Out of time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the football column. Cheers. No, no. It's a good game. No, no. There you go. It won't get better for here. Uh, thanks for sending in the questions, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, go to uh, our Twitter. Click on the link there. And uh, we'll see you next time. Well, the trail me down when I broke free. I drank all the whiskey in Tennessee.